Hi, this is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and today we're going to be doing a video on a motherboard replacement on a PowerEdge 840 server. So first thing I'm going to do is have everything unplugged, have your machine on the side, loosen the thumb screw on the front, and remove the lid like so. Well, the main thing we're going to have to start out doing is removing all the cables from the main board. So, simplest way to first do is remove this black shroud and the rear fan just to give yourself a little bit more room. And start going at all the power cables and drive cables and front panel cables. We got those all unplugged now. Next, remove your uh, processor and heatsink. Now since you are going to be uh, reapplying uh, thermal paste on this, you are going to want to clean the processor and the bottom of the heat sink. So you get a nice uh, clear surface. Next, we'll lastly remove the RAM. Now with everything unattached, there's a little blue tab within here. You just pull that up and look right and the board comes out easily like that. Now we'll put our replacement board. Putting it back in is just as simple as it was to replace pretty much. Kind of move it in to the right so that the guides along the bottom of the chassis kind of lock into the tray. Should go in and then be secured. At this point, I generally start reattaching many of these front cable connectors and drive connectors. And lastly, that. Now with all your uh, cables reattached, we'll uh, put back in your processor. Now you'll uh, notice there's a little uh, arrow right here that kind of corresponds with the arrow on the processor so you can kind of tell which direction to put it in. Reapply some thermal paste. Generally on these procs you really don't need much more than about kind of in between around the size of a BB. So with that on there, put back on your heat sink. Lock in the tabs, put back in the memory, and our rear fan. Put back in the rear fan, reapply the shroud, and put back on your lid and you are good to go. Anyways, hope this was helpful. Again, this is Dylan from Velocity Tech Solutions, and you can visit us at velocitechsolutions.com.